Let's do an issue on surrealism, but not copying existing surrealist art. Let's actually go back to the Surrealist Manifesto and use those ideas and ideology and create new and interesting projects. And what's more original about this work was not just the paintings themselves, but actually incorporating the models and the fashion element into it. Is it possible to actually have a person and a piece of artwork blend into one thing and become a piece of live art. I'm Taylor Bagley. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I started modeling at 16, but I didn't start traveling until I was 18. My parents were very adamant on me finishing school. I just moved to New York in August, and I live in Novita, and I love it here. Traditionally, Models in the fashion world have been considered a blank canvas. That's a very common statement with regards to models. The fact is they're living people. So to bring a live fashion model into a piece of artwork and have her actually created and merge with a piece of artwork as it's being created, you have this element of reality of this real girl and then this fantasy that you're creating around her take that literally and turn a model into blank canvas, yeah. turn her into a piece of live art, and then actually break that with her personality and allow her to come alive and show us that she's not a blank canvas, that she's actually living and alive with her own personality. So what about now just taking some huge paint strokes and doing like something huge okay. around the body? This is more of my style, like I'm an exhibitionist, so it really, it makes sense for me to do something. I think just from seeing her artwork in here, you know, I haven't seen all around, but I think that's very unique. I've never done anything like that, and I, I'm really curious to see what the what it's going to transcend into. What do you think about this in Nashville? Um, they would probably think I'm crazy. Being part of this live art creation is really amazing. Um, I have to say, when it was getting splattered across my face, I was a little eh, but just to then let go and like let it happen, it's really cool. And it feels like a, probably this will be the only experience that I have with being a real life body paint slash huge creation of wall paint. <laughs>this isn't a traditional fashion or beauty shoot um, in any shape, way, or form. We didn't really use any clothing. It wasn't about what products we were using. My name is uh, Sharon Bala. I'm from Holland. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I've been living in New York now for about a year and love it. You know, you do it in art school. You copy great the masters. So you end up copying something and you end up learning a lot. When I was working, um, Deborah would put up a color and I would just reach for the similar color and Deborah would make a stroke on the canvas and so I would just mimic what she's she's doing basically. Pretty good being a life model in this uh, contemporary art painting because uh, it's something different like I've never done anything like this before and I can't really see what it looks like because I'm like in it but I think it looks good. I can't tell if it's good or not but I think it's amazing. <laughs> it feels good. We're having fun. That's the most important thing their own personality came out to such a point that it was impossible not to notice them at any given moment in time. Like sometimes people say like models are like blank canvas, but I think it's I think it's kind of bullshit and ridiculous because if a model would be blank canvas, the picture would never be nice. The model really needs to put something into the photo. It's ridiculous if you would say models are blank canvases. Although sometimes you get treated like that, but I don't think it's I don't think models are like that in general. Okay. So just like really dramatically yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The blurred lines between reality and fantasy, between dreamscapes and what is currently existing, and merging those into imagery where you cease to, your, your conception of reality and fantasy is blurred.
when I was a child, I really loved like finger painting, and I sort of had the feeling I was doing it today because my hands are completely covered, and like if you do that like this, it's like really nice and how do you say? It just feels good. <laughs> it brings me back to my youth. Hi, my name is Mae Bunn. I'm from New York. Uh, I've been modeling for six years. I was 19 years old, I'm 26 now. What comes to life most here is not only the creation of the original work of art, but also the girls' reactions to being part of a piece of live art. Um, because they actually are not, you know, inanimate objects. They're people, they're humans, and it was really interesting to hear the girls talk about what they think about being a part of the experience, because that's what actually broke them out of that fantasy. As a model, we are blank canvases to everyone's eye, like, uh, we are like, you know, a blank canvas where they can paint a picture or see us as anything, a character for uh, everyone to see, you know, like, we are who we are, but in the eye of the photographer or the art director or the artist, like they can transform us into something of their own. So we're their, we're their art as well, as being our own. I was born with one eye very b badly turned in. Mm -hmm. And they tried to fix it so it looked okay, but they don't really ever work together. Wow. So lo and behold, I became a painter. And I think it's because I need to see death. And I, need, and, I need to, and I need to see far away and close. I'm really excited about the merging of fashion and art because um, I just love art. I really love art and I love, um, I love Deborah's work and it was really fun just to kind of mimic it today. And I learned a lot so um, I'm excited about doing more. So that's something that I thought was really fun to explore, was to open Pandora's box of the Surrealist Manifesto and see what else we could come up with. Was I once a tree damned? If I know, but roots hurt roots. Are those my roots?